Chaos. They were saying there was people trapped. We heard that there was people trapped on the radio coming in, and uh, I think they got out okay. I think actually they got everybody out, but I don't know if everyone's alive. It's a classic brownstone fire. They did it like clockwork. 214 stretched the line, 111 laddered the building, got, uh, did a roof rope rescue, put portables in there. They do what they do all the time. We got everything. A statement from the Department of Homeland Security says the intelligence community believes that terrorists will attempt multiple attacks against U.S. and coalition targets worldwide in the event of a U.S.-led military campaign against Saddam Hussein. Just after the president spoke, the nation's terror alert level was elevated from yellow to orange or high, and the Department of Homeland Security revealed details of a nationwide security plan called Operation Liberty Shield. My message today to the people of the city of New York is simple. Go about your lives as you normally would, and we will do everything in our power to protect you. Leave the worrying to the professionals, and live your lives. Otherwise, the terrorists will win without doing anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down. Hey, no. All right. Just got a call from uh, the hazmat uh, ops. They're, they're receiving high-level threats, terrorist threats. So be aware. If anything does happen, we all stay together. You hear me? We all stay together. Nobody's going to do nothing stupid. My job here today is to make sure that you guys go home in the morning. All right? 
If we're going down in the, the only kind of heroes they they got to they ain't rushing in. They ain't rushing in. Nobody's gonna be here all year. All right, but it could be anything. What they, what they told me is that they might be targeting soft targets like uh, apartment buildings, you know, hotels, uh, hotels, that kind of shit. So if we did have a mass casualty. We'd be doing both of these plus the APD, plus you'd be checking for uh, radiological at the same time. If we sample with both kits, we'll cover Saren, Tabin, Salmon, DFP VX, blister agents, lung agents, blood agents, nose and throat irritating yeah. agents. So the only thing this is gonna, actually this is test for is a biological, right? You know, but chemical or nerve, you know, we should, have, we should pretty much have it covered. All right, teach me. It's a radiation meter. Three type of waves: alpha, beta, gamma. Bottom line. What's going to kill me? What's going to kill you? The doses. So they suspect that, uh, well, nowadays a dirty weapon is going off or some kind of spill in a hospital. Supposed to keep the batteries, yeah. We put these on us when we go in. These ones actually have an alarm that goes off. These ones that look like a little pen actually have a gauge in there that you have to be zeroed out. And there's a scale. You look up into the light, and there's a scale in there. And if the scale's too high, basically it's a warning to get out. There's a lot more dangerous scenarios out there. There's, you know, the terrorism adds a whole other dimension that we weren't dealing with years ago. It primarily was just firemen put out fires, you know, going in, get people out. I didn't realize we were going to do so much hazmat work, but, you know, it's the way the job is today. This is not for you. You're for the person coming You wouldn't use your own. Somebody right. would use yours on, on you, but you wouldn't use yours on somebody else. But believe me. If I need it, I'm going to use my own. Oh, absolutely. So you jam it in, and out of the pen, and immediately follow with that. I thought about retiring, but I always uh, loved, uh, loved my job. I uh, respect it, and uh, it took me a long time to figure it out and, and, and do it well. And, um, and we have a lot of young guys that need to learn. I think it's good to share it with them and teach them what I know. <laughs> You know, sometimes you come into work and you think, well, geez, this is going to be the day that they do it again. You know? And I try to I put that, that thought in my, out of my head and I just kind of go along and do my job. It's like the rest of these bananas. You know? And the way some people cook it, it really could be medical hazardous waste. Most of these guys run the job on September 11th and they've been, they've been through hell. You know? Yeah, those, my six friends out of this company. We almost, we almost lost another nine. We were standing on the corner of church before when the second town came down. And yet, they came back to work. They didn't go home and hide in their basement and say, I'm never coming back. They came back to work. They built a company. They're doing their job. And yeah, when they come to work, they think about what might happen. But they're more worried about you know, what's, what's going to happen and let's prepare. Yeah. You know, if it never happens, God, God bless us. But if it doesn't, at least maybe we'll be a little bit better prepared.